Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this bronzed, glowy summer makeup look. Um, I have just finished filming this and I did film using natural light because I wanted to keep it as natural and realistic as possible and try and show as much sort of skin tone and texture. But it's one of those days where it's been super sunny one minute and then really like dark and cloudy the next. So if the light does chop and change a little bit throughout the video, then that is why, apologies for that. Um, I tried to get some really good close-ups as well. So when I was doing my eyebrows and my lashes, I tried to really zoom in and get some good detail shots. So hopefully you enjoy the video. If you do, please do remember to give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions about anything, then just leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, and also just to know that everything I use will also be linked below in the description box along with any discount codes that are currently available. Um, but yeah, let's get going with the video. Okay, so I'm starting off with a very bare face and I'm gonna pop on a bit of By Terry Balm De Rose Lip Balm. I'm using this Bobbi Brown face base for my primer. It just creates a really lovely, smooth base for the rest of my makeup to sit on. In summer, I tend to opt for a tinted moisturizer instead of a foundation. And so I'm using the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer in shade 3W1 Bisque and applying it using a Zoeva buffing brush in number 103. This tinted moisturizer just gives a really lovely light coverage with a beautiful summery sheen. Basically your skin, but better. If I just bring the camera in a little bit closer, you can see that you can still see my freckles and any imperfections. It just really evens out my skin tone and makes it look a lot more glowy and healthy. So I'm just applying it all over my face, buffing it in and then bringing it back to my ears and blending it in down my neck as well as my body is always slightly darker than my face. Next up, I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer in shade 3N. And I'm just popping this under my eyes, around my nose where I get a little bit of redness and then on some little blemishes on my chin and also popping a bit on my eyelids as well. And then I'm using this Fair Minerals brush just to buff it in around my nose and just also using my finger as well. Sometimes I find it much easier just to use your finger because it's a bit warmer and it just kind of blends it a little bit easier. So I'm just using my fingers to dab it in under my eyes and blend it out and get rid of any little dark circles. And then I'm using this Laura Mercier Brightening Powder just to set the concealer around my eyes. And then I'm also using this Charlotte Tilbury Powder just to set around my nose and on my chin and anywhere else that needs it on my face. I tend not to set my makeup too much in the summer because it is so light. Um, next, I'm going in with a bronzer. I forgot to show you my bronzer, but this is the Estee Lauder. I think it's called the Bronze Goddess Bronzer. And I'm just popping this on my cheeks, around the top of my forehead, on my nose, under my kind of jawline and down my neck as well to blend in. And then going in with blusher, this is Bare Minerals Strike a Rose, just a really lovely pink blusher. It looks a bit harsh there. I think it's just where the lighting's changed, but it is, you'll see at the end, it does look natural. <laughs> um, this is highlighter. I'm going in with the NARS Highlight Palette, popping a little bit on the cheekbones and down the center of my nose and then a little bit in the center of my forehead as well because I like this like the summery glow it gives. For mascara I'm using the Diego Della Palma My Toy Boy Mascara. This is such a great mascara, really thickening, really lengthening. This is just how it looks with one coat on. Ignore the mascara on my top lashes by the way that's just that's just how I do my mascara. It always goes like that even when I try and be careful. Um, so yeah, just applying another coat, that's how it looks with two coats on. And then for my bottom lashes, I'm actually using a By Terry mascara, just because the other one from the Diego Della Palma one is so thick that I wanted to use this one just to keep it a little bit more natural and more sort of lengthening rather than thickening on my bottom lashes. So I'm just applying one coat of this, um, I will remove all the mascara around my eyes now with a cotton bud. If you leave it to dry, I, I always leave it to dry for a few minutes first, and then it just flakes away really easily with a dry cotton bud. Um, next, I'm going in with a little bit of bronzer for my eyeshadow. So this is the same bronzer I was using before, the Estee Lauder one, 
but I'm just using a Zoeva eyeshadow brush and just buffing a little bit on my eyelids just to give a really glowy bronze lid. And then this is a Charlotte Tilbury brown eyeliner and I'm just popping this underneath my eyes. I've only recently started doing this, just popping it underneath my eyes and then using a little buffing brush just to buff it out and blend it in and give a really sort of natural smoky brown eye. Um, and then I'm kind of just winging up the sides as well. I don't normally do this, but I think because I was filming, I was feeling a little bit snazzy, so just a little bit of a wing. Um, and again, buff that out as well, just to keep it a little bit more natural for during the day. You can see it blends out really easily and just gives a really subtle winged look. Now it's time for brows and I'm using the Diego Dalla Palma Brow Cream. I am just gonna come in even closer with the camera now so you can really see my brows in full force. <laughs> um, and I'm just using a really tiny little slanted brush and just going underneath the brow, just to fill in the little bits that I've got that are sparse underneath my brows. I tend to not add anything to the top, but I just concentrate on like the lower bit. I did try and do this with the other hand so you could see better, but I really struggled. So apologies if you can't see it that clearly but it was really hard to get the right angle and do it with the right hand as well but you can see I'm just sort of building up from the bottom little strokes and filling it in and then just brushing through to blend it through as well so it kind of gives a much more natural look and there's no harsh lines or anything so you can see there's a difference between one eyebrow done and one eyebrow not done yet Just going in with the other brow, doing the same thing, working up from the bottom with just little strokes and filling in underneath. Um, and then again, brushing through to blend it all in a little bit. Just gives a much more natural look. And then I'm using the Bare Minerals Strength and Length Brow Gel to set my brows. This brush is kind of flat on one side, so it's really great to apply the product and then you can kind of use the flat side to really push it in and flatten your brows down and it really helps to secure your brows but without leaving them feeling crunchy or crisp. Um, and actually the serum is supposed to help to like strengthen and lengthen your brows. I've only been using it for a couple of weeks so I don't know how much of a difference it's made yet but I will report back and let you know. Um, but yeah, that's my finished brows. Moving on to lips, and I'm starting off by taking off my lip balm as I find that lip liner applies much better and lasts longer on clean lips. And I'm using Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in the shade Pillow Talk, just a really gorgeous pinky peachy nude. And then I'm going in with this Rimmel Stay Satin Liquid Lipstick. Again, a really beautiful, pinky peachy nude perfect for summer and it lasts so well as well it kind of sets but it doesn't dry out it still kind of sets to a satin finish really lovely and great price as well and then that is how that combination looks together but i wanted to make it a little bit more peachy so i went in with a mac lipstick in the shade kind of sexy just to add a bit more of a coral kind of summery tone to it it's not made too much of a difference, but just, just a subtle summery difference. This was going to be the finished look, but then I got a bit carried away and thought I would add a little bit of this Dr. Paw Paw balm just to my cheeks to give a slightly more like dewy summery finish. I don't even know how much of a difference it makes on camera, but just in the flesh, it gives us a bit more of a glow. And then again, I got carried away <laughs> and I wanted to try out this Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow pot. Like it's sort of like a rose gold tone and I just dabbed a little bit on my eyes and then the excess just dabbed on my cheeks. Um, again, to give a really lovely summery glow. So this is the finished look and I'm really pleased with it. Just a lovely kind of glowy, natural summer makeup. I would love to hear your feedback. If there's any products you love the look of that you're gonna try yourself or any recommendations, do leave a comment below. Okay, so this is the finished look. Obviously you can adapt this look to suit you a little bit more. So if this is a bit too dewy, you can add a bit more powder or less dewy products. I feel like it would also work really well with a gloss instead of lipstick to keep it a bit more natural as well. Um, but yeah, this is just my go-to kind of bronzy summer makeup look. 
really hope you enjoyed the video if you did please do give it a thumbs up um, as I mentioned before all of the products will be linked below in the description box but if you've got any questions at all about anything then just leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible um, but yeah thank you so so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again in my next video bye